Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love and today I wanted to hop on and just do a random, honestly, a very random video. It is 11.30 and, or 11.40, sorry, um, and 11.40 p.m. And I don't know, I just, I was working on a project and I wasn't feeling inspired, so I thought I would just turn the camera on and do something random. Um, I recently got the storage box for diamond painting, basically your diamond dots from Hobby Lobby, and they're only $1.99. So I grabbed four of these, and I'm thinking of doing like a little diamond dots box for my collections, like my Maggie Holmes ones, because I always have so much of those. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and do a box for Parasol since I'm working with that collection right now. Um, and thought I would take you guys along with me. Um, this holds 28 diamond dots. So the reason why I want to do a diamond dots box is because I work with diamond dots on every project. So I thought I would just have the colors ready instead of me having to bust out these larger bottles um, from my drawer or having to dig through these um, because I haven't organized them just yet. So they're just in a bunch of different organizers. So I thought it would be more convenient to have them already organized. And then once I'm done with the collection, I can always switch them out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And these compartments actually, if you've never seen them before, come like this. So there's four per row and they each individually open up. If I'm doing this correctly. Okay. <laughs> At least I know they're going to be on there pretty well. So they all open up and goes in this case. For $1.99, that's definitely worth it. So um, I'm going to dig through my stash here that I have. Um, these are the ones that I just have out. Um, I haven't gone through my drawer and I also have uh, another organizer with more of the clearance ones that I got. So I'm just going to flip through all of these and um, see what colors go with the collection. The papers that I'm going to go off of are these three. I feel like these have the most um, colors in them, I feel, from the collection. So I am going to go off of these. And I don't really use black diamond dots um, other than Halloween, so... I think this is like the best pattern to go off of, but I have these three just in case. So that's my, these are my inspiration pages. So what I'm going to do is I'll just oops, set them to the side for now because I have you guys zoomed in so you guys can see more of this organizer. Um, but yeah, I'm literally just going to go through this. My son is still awake. He is with his dad. We are planning on going to Disneyland for the first half of our day tomorrow before Chris goes to work. So yeah, it's going to be a long day. I'm going to be up at six, but like I said, I wanted to be in my craft room for a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to have to go out in a little to put him to bed, but anyway. Okay. So I guess I'll kind of have this like this. And I'm just literally going to go through and figure out what goes well with the collection. I'm even going to do like shades of green. So if like this isn't in the collection, but it's a shade of another, I'm going to put it in there. Because sometimes I like to have like, you know, shades of specific colors. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't no, that's in there. This whole thing right here basically was this. This was like my garden party one that I never put away, so I think those go well. Oops. Those ones. I'm gonna grab all of these. Are these different? Hmm. Yeah, they're different. So I'm probably going to do this off camera so you guys don't have to see me flip through all of these. 
but basically I'm just looking for some. spacing out here but um <laughs> there's gonna be 28 colors so I don't know if I'm gonna have all of them but it's okay if I have like some spots open I wish they had more shades of yellow, but they don't, so. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day. Um, I had to put my son to sleep and even then he slept at 1 a.m. And believe it or not, you guys, he woke up at 3 a.m. and started playing in their play area in the dark. Like, I was pretending to sleep too, to try to get him back to sleep because we fell asleep on the couch, him and I. And he woke up and decided he wanted to play after sleeping for a couple hours. And I had to wake up in two hours to get ready to go to Disneyland. We ended up going like three hours later than planned. And so we had a really short time at Disneyland, which is fine. At least I'm able to finish this video, hopefully, because he's sleeping now. But we'll see. Um, but anyway... <laughs> Um, it is the next day and right now I just took off um, or I opened up all the newer containers because they are sealed with the sticker that's on here. So I'm removing the clearance sticker because I am not a huge fan of that neon orange. And most of the time I like to remove the full sticker but it does leave like a residue sometimes and it ends up becoming like this foggy yucky mess. So I'm just going to leave it on and um, what I do is I don't suggest doing this if you don't want to but I'm tired of ruining my nails doing this stuff because especially when I just get them done because then I end up having to go back there to get my nails done again. So I just put it where the cap opens up and I just put my bone folder, I mean not bone folder, my exacto knife and I just, you know, move it down this way but I don't do it holding it up. And I try to go slowly because last thing I need is for me to get cut. So that's why I don't suggest doing this. But, you know, do it at your own risk. And I just move the bottle. But like you could see, it slides. Most of the time it doesn't though. Um, and I usually don't like to use this knife. I have a specific X-Acto knife that I use, but this is the one that I found. So anyway. Okay, so cap that back on there and it should open, yeah, nicely. So I, believe it or not, found 28 different colors that can go inside of this case. And a lot of these colors are actually in here. So like if you see the flowers in here, there are different tones of pink. So I kind of based off of those. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see like this flower right here. These colors kind of like are all in there. Like if you look this... So they all kind of like are in that flower. So luckily for me, I was able to find coordinating colors. So all I'm going to do, is this one open? Oh, it's open. I just didn't take the sticker off. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, speed this part up. But I'm basically just going to fill in all the little containers with the colors of... Um, diamond dots. 
I've done this, not this specifically, but I've done a sequin storage video where I just sped it up and I was just filling in the containers. So I might do the same thing. I'm just going to start with the blue first and I'm not going to fill them all the way up because I don't think I'm going to need them all. I'll, okay, that's like three quarters full. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill these and close as I go because if I don't, I'm going to make a mess. So, And you can buy um, removable stickers and you can label them the different numbers that they are. Like on the cap, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are numbers on there. And so if you want to do that so you remember what colors they are, you can. I am going to try to keep these together in a um, organizer. And then when I'm ready, I could just put them back in. But yeah, so I'm just going to cap these. It looks like I forgot a couple of clearance stickers. I'm going to take them off now because I already know I will forget. And I hate removing these because like I said, it does damage my nail. Oh, this one's not open. Cool. I thought this part was going to go pretty quick because I thought I had them all done except one, but I guess I missed one. If this part doesn't take too long, I'll probably keep some of it in. I do like the noise of, you know, the stuff pouring in, but I tried to, I'm going to try to be quick with it. So there's the first one. And that's going to go in here. Move on to the next one. At first, these are kind of hard to open, but once you got them open, they're good to go. Okay, so these are done. I'm just going to set them to the side so that I don't get messed up. But I did put them in rows of four so that way I can know where each one is going to go. Close those. Today was a warm day. It was like um, 80 degrees. So yeah, it's pretty hot. And we don't, um, we just recently started walking and not doing the tram. Just because we have a big stroller, it's a double stroller, so it's just easier to walk. Um, but in the heat, it definitely is not the best walk coming back. In the morning, it's fine because it's a little colder, but definitely not the best thing. Okay, so there's that one. The next one. Yeah, see, these things are a pain in the but okay oh my goodness <laughs> thought i was gonna break a nail doing that all right here we go Sorry, didn't realize I was out of frame. I moved my camera, so. I always forget where the center is. All right, so these set of colors are all done. I'm gonna move on to the next ones.
Okay, guys, so it's the last four. Um, I might have skipped through that last one because I was cut off, but I need to get used to the center being farther from me. Or I need to move my camera, but... Anyway, this is the last one. This darker pink, I pulled from the other side of this paper. Because this one is a little bit... It has like a really bright pink on that side, so... I did pull from that. It's not like the perfect match. It's a little bit darker, but it'll do. Alright, last one. Cool. So now I am going to... I had to cut that out. That was not the best noise ever. Alright, there we go. So, all right, so here are the colors. Yes, it really does look like parasol. It actually just looks like Maggie Holmes in general. Um, honestly, I probably can keep this mix around for a bunch of her collections. I feel like the colors are pretty similar unless it's like heritage or something. But um, I am going to label this. But look at how pretty. Sorry, I shouldn't have put the lid, but here it is. And these are the colors I went off of. Pretty damn good. So let me bring this in. You guys can see here. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> I'm like checking it out on my screen and it looks very, very, um, oh, it's staticky. Um, I don't know, it just looks very pleasing. All right, so there's that. Um, I think I'm gonna what I'm gonna do to label this is I'm gonna just do a really quick um, belly band for it, just so I know what the collection is. Um, I don't think I have any removable stickers, so that's why I need to do one of those. So what I'm gonna do is just use like some of the patterned paper. I do have this scrap piece just to see if it would look cute. Cause like I don't want it to glue on the actual case. Hmm. What am I gonna do? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do some things off camera and then I'll be right back. Um, I'll show you guys what I do with it. Okay guys, so I have this scrap piece of paper and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just trim it down. Um, two little strips I think I'm going to do because I want as many of these colors to show I don't want to cover up too much so I'm going to do a really thin strip I think a three quarter inch will be fine um, because I'm literally just going to label it so I really don't need that big of a, um, sorry I don't really need that big of a piece so I'm going to trim off this here. So I'm not the biggest fan of this trimmer, but my other one is trapped, so I'm gonna use this one. Um, oh, let me see, three quarters? Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna do one for now, just to see how long I need this. So it's just gonna wrap around like this. I'm gonna do three quarters. Okay, six inches. Set that aside. Let's get some of the blue in there. And this for something else. What was I going to say? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go here and the shorter ends are going to go on top. And then what I'm going to do is have this piece right here glue all the way to the end of this. And I'm going to make a little open like little piece here oh yeah okay 
So I'm going to, you guys, this is just for fun. You guys, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is me showing my process of what I plan on doing with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, I just have this wrapped up like this. And it's literally um, even on both sides, at least to my knowledge, from what I see. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want my little like opening to be and I think this right here like that should be good and I'm just gonna glue this down whoops I'm sliding it through okay so what I, I actually switched the sides around I don't really want the blue showing so I have it like this all right and I'm going to use zip dry to glue this down I'm just gonna add it to this here and I don't want to get it on the container so I'm actually going to remove it okay so I glued that on I'm a mess right now you guys <laughs> okay and once that's glued on I'll take my bone folder and make sure it's really good so that's going to go at the bottom and this is just gonna flap right over, perfect. And I'm just gonna put a Velcro piece. So let me grab a Velcro. And as usual, I'm gonna use pink. going to make sure that it's on there straight and I'm tugging on this side. I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm tugging onto it as tight as I can. And I'm just going to pull this one here. And just make sure it's straight. Perfect. So that's going to go in the middle. I know that looks kind of weird, but oh well. It's just for my own, um, like, you know, myself. It's not for anybody. So I'm going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is put parasol on here, probably using some letter, like some alphas. I'm going to go grab some and put that on here. Okay, so this is um, like my go-to alpha from Hobby Lobby. It's the gold foam stickers. And so I am going to use this to put parasol on there. And I don't know if the upper case will fit. Just to put what collection this is for. And you could do this with sequins too, but the only thing about sequins is if you make really like ch big um, batches of sequins, then, you know, um, probably isn't the best way to do it because they are small little organizers, but diamond dots for sure is fun. Ooh, I broke that L. Ooh. Alright, so literally just says parasol on there so that way I know that this is for the parasol collection. I might do one for garden party and for the new one. Um, not gingham garden because I'm not sure if I'm going to use it just yet. We'll see. But I am going to do one for the um, Woodland Grove, which is her newer one too. Um, I, that might be too long to put on here. I might use like something smaller. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually not going to <laughs> cut the video just yet. Um, it is the next day um, since I last recorded um, the video for this Diamond Dots box that I made for the Parasol collection. And um, I did actually use this to decorate this bag, which I will have a process video on. 
So, um, I don't know which one's going to come first. This one's most likely going to come first. But I wanted to use some of the diamond dots to actually um, decorate these bags so that way I don't have to do too much embellishing. But if you guys know me, I am a diamond dots girl. So I am the one to like diamond dot everything. I don't like diamond painting, but I will diamond dot a whole sheet of paper. Um, I know, I don't know. But anyway, so I did do this one already. Um, I might add a couple of other colors, but I want to share with you guys just kind of like me using this so that way you guys can see how easy it is. Um, I mean, just imagine like all these colors and their larger bottles, having them on my desk would just be way too intense. Like I've had that where I've had like organizers on my desk and I was just pulling for colors like these bottles all on their own, just laying around everywhere. So I just love how organized this is and I could just see all the colors and they all match the collection so well. So let's go ahead and use it. Sorry for the talking, but here we go. So um, if you guys remember, obviously the same video, there's Velcro on there. And basically what I do is I just um, look for the colors that are on the piece of paper that I'm planning on putting, you know, the diamond dots on. So I am definitely going to be adding more of this um, orangey colors. So I'm going to start with that first and I just grab it. And with these, you can actually take it and kind of put it and see if it will match. And I already know it does because I did add that same color to this one. So let me open this and yeah, I always struggle with this. Okay. And I'm just going to dump some into this tray and put it back. And what I'm going to do is take that away. Okay. Um, I am going to get my glue. So I'm just going to use art glitter glue. I use art glitter or barely arts glue. Really up to you. But um, I'm going to go ahead and dot where I want to put it. The only thing that I'm not doing is where I added those embossing lines I'm not adding the diamond dots on there because they're gonna just end up getting cut off anyway and there's some embossing on there so I just decided to leave it as is so if you guys can see on this one the diamond dots are in the middle of the flowers and I just kind of left it as is um, I didn't touch like the ones on top here but that's how that one looks so I'm gonna go ahead and diamond dot this one now um, let's see. Okay. I'm just so glad that I bought these, um, or the diamond painting kits during COVID because I, well, I guess in a sense I am, I'm happy about it, but I'm also not because <laughs> I'm addicted and I love all the colors. So I always buy them. But if you guys didn't see my video like three years ago, I did like a tutorial of me embellishing some ephemera pieces and it was when there was still lockdown and stuff and I wanted to try to do something with the diamond, dro um, the diamond dots because I was not having it with the paintings. They were just taking way too long. And so I thought it would be really fun to embellish ephemera pieces and it turned to me just diamond dotting everything and you know this kind of stuff does take time but sometimes I don't do it sometimes I do like this one I'm adding like a couple of them um, to the flowers depending on how big they are like that one just needs one so I'm probably going to speed through this part so that you guys aren't watching me do this um, the whole time because it's literally repetitive and it does take up some time. So I'm just going to add those and I don't think I'm going to add one up here so I'm just going to remove that. Okay, so let me just give you guys a quick glance. That's how that looks. And I'm going to go ahead and do these down here. Oh, 
Okay, so when I'm done with the color, I reuse the same thing here. Little tray. So I'm just gonna ooh, open that up. Dump it back and then just work with whatever other color. Ooh, I just realized I missed one. And so I am going to <laughs> put some on there. I'm just gonna dump out a couple of them. And I did stitch around this oval, so I'm going to, um, I'm not gonna do anything that's inside of that oval. I'm just gonna leave it as is, so I'm not gonna add any there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to another color. I had to make space onto my memory card, so. All right, um, I'm gonna do this yellow next. So I'm gonna go ahead and dot this. Okay, you guys, so for the blue, um, I'm going to go through these and see. Um, they are kind of like different blues on some of these, but I think I'm going to go for the darker one. I mean, there's not really much of a difference on this, so I don't know if you guys can see. There's like some light blue in there, um, but I'm going to do the darker one. So I just, like I said, I just kind of put the organizer close to it and then I just choose one that is the closest which I think this one is so I'm just gonna dump some of that out attention I was spacing out trying to figure out what <laughs> I wanted to do for the other flowers if I wanted to luckily there wasn't that many I wanted to see if I wanted to add the diamond dots or do something else to them so I was not paying attention to my pour dump those okay so what I'm thinking is for these, um, so I don't know if you guys can see these flowers. These ones don't really have a center. So I'm going to do something else with those. Um, let me just glue this back or put this back. Okay, so done with the diamond dots now. Just close that back up. Cute. All right, and then I think what I'm going to do with these is just add some glitter, but I'm just going to do that with, or maybe even, sorry guys, um, this is Ballerina Liquid Pearls. I have not used this yet, and you guys, I have so many things that I just have not used yet, so why not try it out? I have this scrap here. I think that'll be cute. All right, so I'm just gonna add some here. And if you don't have diamond dots, you can even do 
Nuvo Drops, or whatever you have. This is coming out a little thick, so... <laughs> So I accidentally shifted one of my diamond dots, so yeah, that happened. And I'm gonna cover, because it shifted, it went into like the flower. And so I need to cover that white part up where the paper tore off and just place one on there. I don't know if it's gonna look weird though. Okay, guys, so that's it for this um, little tutorial slash process video of me making this little um, organizer here and also using it to decorate the um, packaging that I have set or made. Um, and if you guys want to see me creating these packaging um, or these both of these packages, then you guys can go ahead and check out that you can go ahead and check that video out and it will be linked down below. It'll be in a playlist um, if you guys would like to check it out. But I do have a tutorial on that. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me put together this really cute box. I'm so glad that I had this idea. Um, it really does save me much desk space. So I'm really glad to have that now. And I'm definitely going to be making another one. Um, and if you guys are interested in, um, you know, making these for your happy meal then you guys can go ahead and follow that tutorial um, I'm definitely gonna be adding more to this one right here I just didn't want to keep you guys here any longer because that's not really what the video was about but I just wanted to share with you guys you know me using the box and just showing you how simple it was to use to diamond dot this so if you're into diamond dotting like I am definitely you know um, let me know if you guys are planning on doing this or if you do do it and send, post a picture or something definitely tag me in it but I hope that you guys enjoy today's video and I hope that you guys have a great day whatever day it is that y'all are watching this and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye